So the quick pronunciation of miter, I think of it as rhyming with tighter, lighter, and brighter. Miter. I've been experimenting with different constructions, yarns, color changes, and now I'm excited to share all of my tips and tricks with you in the most simplest and straightforward way possible. Hello, I'm Kristen, and welcome to Studio Knit. I've recently become obsessed with knitting these adorable little mitered squares. At last count, I've made over 300 of them. Mitered squares are knit from the outside edges toward the center with decreases that form this neat symmetrical pattern. So like a miter joint in woodworking, mitered squares use decreases that pull the edges inward. Most are done in the garter stitch, keeping them neat and perfectly square. They are small and portable. They're easy to knit anywhere. You don't have a big heavy blanket on your lap. It's a great yarn stash buster. It's perfect for using up your leftover yarn and they're easy to memorize. After a few squares, you'll know the pattern by heart. And color work fun, mix and match for unique designs, all of your own. So let me tell you about the series. I am going to have an entire playlist dedicated to mitered squares, their construction, and some fun design inspiration for you. In upcoming tutorials, I'll cover the basics stitch by stitch. I'll share color work ideas, show you how I join these little squares, and explore design inspiration. If you're excited, hit that like button for me, subscribe, and if you have any design requests, please make sure to drop those in the comments below. And if you'd like to start knitting these little cuties right away, grab my free printable mitered square knitting pattern and cheat sheet. It's from my website once you subscribe to my email list. So that is linked in the video description below. If you're already an email subscriber of Studio Knit, go check your inbox because it's probably already in there. I've simplified the solid square patterns into two methods for you. There's the CDD spine seam, we'll get to that, and the easy decrease seam. The printable includes complete instructions for both. Plus there's a cheat sheet for four yarn weights with stitch counts for six different square sizes. So they start from little three by three and then I take it all the way up to eight by eight inches square for you. Mitered squares are modular, so you can have fun with layouts and colors. I'll also show you how to knit the half square triangle. These are perfect for diving into new design possibilities. I love the half square triangle quilt block design deck that I found. I found this on Amazon. It's originally for quilters, but it works for us. It's great for planning knitted squares too. You can mix and match and get really creative. So there's two main options. There's a join as you go. You may have seen that before where you pick up the stitches along the edge of finished squares and keep knitting. It creates one big solid piece. But I'm gonna be focusing on sewing them together square by square. You're knitting individual squares and then you sew them together later. It's great for travel knitting. This is the technique I'm using to put all of these little squares into impressive knitting projects for you. I've discovered a simple trick while knitting these squares that creates even edges all the way around, making seaming them a lot easier. And I want to touch quickly on blocking, the importance of blocking your work. I usually say that blocking is optional, but for these spidered squares, I strongly recommend it. Blocking ensures that your squares are uniform in size and that the edges line up really nicely when they're sewn together. Even with the same yarn brand, colors I found can knit up slightly differently. So blocking really helps each square match up perfectly. And for exciting new blanket patterns that are coming soon, I'm working on new blanket designs, so please make sure you're subscribed to Studio Knit to see all of the fun that is coming up. I've been playing with an Orion star pattern. It's in different yarn weights and colors. Not only have I discovered that it creates stunning blankets in different sizes, but I've also been mounting them onto foam board and I've been displaying them in my studio knit shop windows. Sign up for my email list to download your free mitered square knitting pattern and cheat sheet 
instantly. I'm so excited to share my minor square obsession with you. So make sure that you join my email list, make sure you're subscribed to Studio Knit, and check out this really fun knitting video for even more inspiration, and I'll see you there.